Have you ever dreamed of a career in the concert industry, but never knew how to turn that dream into a reality? The Concert Career Pathways program can bridge that gap by providing youth with the professional training necessary for successful careers in the live music industry. CCP is a free nine-month job training program for young people aged 17 to 25 in the Bay Area. Our comprehensive training combines hands-on experience with online learning and includes paid internships, industry tours, networking opportunities, workshops, and much more. Interns receive in-depth training in a variety of fields including talent buying, lighting design, sound engineering, venue operations, and marketing. By working alongside UC Theatre staff, our interns learn all the skills necessary to adapt to the modern workplace. The CCP program also includes mentorships for participants with previous experience in the live music industry who want to advance their careers. Mentees receive individualized support from industry professionals to complete their own self-guided projects. Apply now to the Concert Career Pathways program to make your dream of working in the music industry a reality. Destination. People trying to talk, no conversating. Grown woman, not a girl, no time for the plan. I for sure gotta make it, people gon' stay. Fly like levitating, hourglass frame. Sneak is the name, I don't change. we we'll work come fame, fame come to game. Not making no money, leave it to the lame. Flow is untamed, you owe me some money. Better run it in, no win. I'm never lending again. Lose money, in the house. Got that old money, win a bed, that's new money. Yeah. I've been real about it. Hey, no I hope y'all having really some fun. Really Look, I've been real about, about it. No lie, I ain't never been fake. I've been real about it. I'm real about my money. No lie, I'm real about it. I'm real about my. Yeah, I bet you I'm real about it. Yeah, no lie, I'm real about it. I ain't never been fake. Yo, stay low key. Don't tell everybody business that for show me. I like when little baby put it down and then hold me. It's okay to treat me like a trophy. I'm a prize possession. Let's go. I believe time for the session. This chicken, I'm checking. No sexing in Texas. So right for affection. Here for expansion. You here for it. My mind off the rick to show me some respect. I'm a little like Einstein when it comes to invention. Put me in the White House like Obama and Clinton. My love for the people you could not envision. I've been moving me since I started this mission. First step is admittance. Try me, you'll be sentenced. Don't need no more hindrance. It's me, lady, sneak if I forgot to mention. Yo! I've been real about I'm real about my money. No lie. I'm real about I'm real about my stay. I've been real about I'm real about my lonely. No lie. I'm real about I ain't never been fake. I've been real about I'm real about my money. No lie. I'm real about I'm real about my stay. I bet y'all I'm real about it. No lie. I'm real about I ain't never been fake. Y'all turn up with me. Hello, everyone. I'm Lady Sneak, and welcome back to Lady Sneak Live. As you all know, I've partnered with the UC Theater and Rise Youth Center to host an artist development program to help up and coming Bay Area performers grow their craft and perform on this very stage for you all. Today's topic is young, courageous, and free. And we will be discussing the timeless nature of human expression and how these artists have had the courage to create their art, perform their art, and how they find freedom within their art. We're very excited to have a couple of our East Bay Rising participants and a few local Bay Area artists to perform for you tonight. 
on our third live stream of the year. We will be having performances and interview segments from Honey Gold Jasmine, Nehemiah James, Adriana Avalos, Jadon as our East Bay Rising featured performer. And last but not least, we will have Wanda Gonzalez. So please stay tuned with us on this adventure. All right, everyone. So first, we have an amazing artist from Vallejo, California. She's a singer, songwriter, producer, community activist, and a graphic designer. She's been writing and singing her heart out since the age of seven years old. And she's here today to bless our stage. Let's get to know her a little bit. Welcome, Honey Gold Jasmine. Peace, peace. Hey, what's good? What's up? How you been? I've been great, you know, dealing with the, the stress that comes with life. But overall, can't complain. Can't complain. Cool. How was your, your trip over here? My trip over here was somewhat hectic because um, um, I'm a facilitator and program coordinator for a youth organization. And so I'm like, I always have this pull of like, I still have to show up for them even if I'm doing stuff for myself. So yeah, I was in a meeting on the way here <laughs> and um, you know, just got right back to work. Isn't that the life of the artist though, <laughs> of an artist period? Just having multiple jobs and trying to yep. juggle life, jobs, artistry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I already know how it goes. So, you know, I have a few questions for you today, right? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, cool. So taking age and numbers out of the picture, what does it mean to be youthful in your art? And what does that look like for you? Mm, I love that question because I'm about to be 30 and I'm trying to get out of this mental complex that oh my god, I should have did everything in my 20s. I mean, I have two years left. I don't know why I'm going crazy, but at the end of the day, you know, it's not about the age, right? It's about the spirit and the energy that you have just about living life. And so I think like creating from a place that's always youthful and really fruitful um, means like, don't let those filters that life, I guess, wants to put on you, like get to you when you're creating your art. Like, I mean, go back to that time where when you were hella young and there was no pressures of capitalism or to sell or anything like that. And, you know, try, try your best to create from that space that's good that's that's good right there for sure like when we create our art we're, we're creating it from a, a place of just you know sometimes it's happiness sometimes mm -hmm. it's sadness but we're 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 made free from it you know yes yeah I feel you okay so what does courage mean to you in your life and how do you feel um, how do you feel you manifest that through your art and your performances well, courage to me is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Um, I think sometimes people may get caught up in just the thought of eradicating the fear, right? And mm -hmm. that alone can take you off your path as a person because it's like spending so much time trying to eradicate it when really it's about leaning into it and falling into it and being self-reflective and even asking yourself, why am I scared really, right? Like, is this some traumatic thing, defense mechanism that I built up to basically right, right. always blame that's the reason why I never <laughs> did it or whatever? Right. Or is there like legitly a concern that, you know, that you should pay attention to that maybe if you just actually nurtured that part of yourself that you would actually know it was just trying to protect you, you know? So I think like being courageous as an artist means, you know, just not letting the fear get in the way, you know, and embracing it, even writing about it, you know, use it as a tool, really. Absolutely. So we were listening to your music and we found a song called Right Now. Yeah. Um, I guess it's your most uh, popular song on Spotify. Uh, what was your process like in creating that piece? Well, uh, my process was life. <laughs> um, I literally was going through a really like a terrible home situation. I lived with family and it's a whole backstory to it. But basically, um, I had the opportunity to go to Ghana and wow. I don't know if people were fond of that in my family. Like, I, I don't know. I, I think there's a 
I, I call myself the iridescent sheep because I'm like the only one that's really went into arts. You know, I come from a military family, so there's very much of an energy of like, if you're not tough, if you're not, you know, got all your stuff together and stable, like, what are you doing? And, mm -hmm. and I think it all was coming from a place of like, they cared about me, they want me to be stable. And I think the way they look at the arts is like, it's not stable. Um, even if I tell them I'm getting opportunities here and there, right? Like it's still, right. there's no guarantee really. I mean, mm -hmm. And that's honest. But I think like when I got that opportunity, they were kind of like, wait a minute, hold up. You must got hella money. And that's not the case at all. <laughs> um, I right. actually got sponsored to go to Ghana and my whole trip was paid for because I helped plan it and well, you're with Repair Nations. Right. But because we never had that communication, they just kind of thought like, basically you're lying somewhere in there, right? Mm -hmm. And so they evicted me and they only gave me like three days to move out the day I was leaving to Ghana. So it was like oh, wow. hella stressful because I'm like, hold up, like I'm about to be in Ghana for 10 days. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to come back to nowhere to live. Um, so that song right now was literally about me still being hella optimistic and being like, you know what? Literally, the best thing in my life that's happening to me is happening at the same time. It's like the worst thing that could possibly happen. So that stark contrast told me, like, this has to be a message from God. Like, this has to be something yeah. I have to be positive through. Because if yeah. I'm, like, that's all good. negative the whole time on the trip, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, nobody's going to want to be around me. And I'm not even going to want to be around me, you know? Right, right. Um, so that song was coming from that place of actually processing that whole experience. Oh, and the biggest kicker is that it was on my birthday that all this happened. So yeah. <laughs> wow. And now I'm in my own place and I'm not worried about that. You know, I'm, I'm not in a toxic environment anymore. You know, literally the way that whole time of my life moved, it was like the best and worst stuff happening. And so that's where right now came from. Wow. And you know what? It's crazy. I got a similar story to that too. <laughs> I mean, like spot on, um, but we we've moved on up, right? Moving mm -hmm. through, moving forward, and I'm I'm happy you got out of that situation for sure. That's a blessing. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. So, how do you experience freedom in your art, and why do you think it is important for others to be able to experience this as well? And why do you believe it is so important for us as humans to express our art and how? It is uh, liberating. Hmm. Well, my art is my freedom. Like, so I guess the experience of the freedom is hand in hand with the fact that it is that for me. Um, I know that there's a lot of times I don't feel confident in the way that my stream of consciousness comes out my mouth, <laughs> AKA talk. See, I gotta make everything all complicated. Um, but I feel like when I write, it allows me to free my mind of all these other judgmental thoughts I have of myself, like as I'm talking, um, because it allows me to slow down and actually put it into a concise thought. Um, and it challenges me to say, okay, how can I even say this or sing this um, in a way that people will understand it? Um, and I also think very much in musical terms, like when I hear a song, I can memorize it hella quick. So mm -hmm. I think like the very way that actually feels more comfortable to communicate and the way my brain works is musical. So it feels free, like, wow, I don't have to worry about all these judgmental thoughts and what people might say or whatever, because I don't care. Like at the end of the day, when I create the song, somebody's not gonna like it, some people are gonna love it, but I guess I, I really don't care. <laughs> it's for you, right? Yeah. It's for you. It's your expression, how right. you feel. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so, so what are you, what are you wearing today? So I'm wearing like a hybrid 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> like I'm like in the year 1999 right now, you know, like Y2K inspired. For sure, know? for sure. <laughs> was that, I mean, that, that was the era too. I mean, yeah. the, like early 2000s. Late 90s, I'm, I'm definitely rocking some 90s right now. Yeah, like mid sure. 90s, like you in the pocket, like you in the <laughs> 90s pocket. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so I'm so excited to hear you sing and, and just do your thing and, and vibe with you. Are you ready to perform? Thank you. And yes, I'm ready to perform and share with y'all. Sure. All right, cool. So please take the stage when you're ready. All righty. I don't 
don't be tripping off nothing. I usually keep my cool. Kicking back, maxing, relaxing. I usually save my fuel. But lately, the fire in me won't stop burning. Maybe tears can put it out. Surface level, but it's deeper now. Uh, feeling restless, getting tested. Days rolling into the next day. Yeah. Feeling restless, getting tested. Days rolling into the next day. Uh, so I'll take time. Tell me who I would ask my best friend to hug me, but we can't do that on Zoom. It's crazy, my world's upside down with no warning. Don't be the light to turn around. It gets deep, I might just drown, 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 drown. Restless, getting tested. Days rolling into the next day. Feeling restless, getting tested. It's days rolling into the next day. Uh, so I'll take time for me today. For me today. Take time for me today, for me today, me today. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Gold chains. I gotta know myself. I, I gotta know the game. Yeah. Uh, I'm so heavy, baby. I ride my own way. Both so fluid in the way that I move. I do what I do. Cause I got nothing to prove. I'm alive, 
would never sell my soul in this long as I'm alive I will always be golden long after I die my vibe will never get old and long after I die my story will always be told as history unfolds we gotta question what we're told what good is being woke if your action never spoke louder than your words do what's your verb do my word is born and i'm humble with my virtues ain't got to sneeze in my presence for me to bless you i'm trying to give you life but kill you with these lines too know you can sense the truth behind these bars and if you don't stand for nothing gonna fall right where you are so why so why Send for something. I gotta stand for something. I gotta stand for something. No one can fall for nothing at no. Cause they won't do anything to take your energy and everything that makes your Just remind yourself, it's still beating for a reason. You alive to see another season. So don't let them take your energy from you, period. Uh. I gotta stand for something. you all so much for vibing with me and tuning into the stream. I can't wait for y'all to see the rest of the phenomenal talent on this lineup. If you'd like to stay tapped in with me, I'm Honey Gold Jasmine. You can find me at my website, honeygoldjasmine.com. You can also find me on socials at Honey Gold Music. Thanks. Yo, thank you so much, Honey Gold, for that beautiful performance. Yo, you really know how to let your light shine. And you know what? If we don't stand for something, we could fall for anything. So thank you so much for that, for that message that you brought today. Um, so up next, we're going to have a young performer from Richmond, California. He's a graduate of the UC Theater's Concert Career Pathways program, which is currently accepting applications. He is a rapper and producer who's been writing since the age of 12. And he started producing at the age of 21. With his music, he hopes to spread love and show people anything is possible. Tonight, he's here to do just that. So let's get to know him a little bit. Welcome, Nehemiah James. What's up, Nee? <laughs> Sneak. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm all right. I'm not right. I'm doing great, actually. You know, it's good to see you. It's been so long. It's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> like almost two years. I mean, I've seen you. I saw you last year, last March. Really? Yeah. I don't remember. You don't remember the party? Party, party, party. Nope. Oh, yeah. yeah. My boy got married. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, well, how have you been? I've been doing well. You've been yeah. doing well. Yeah. That's what's up. So, you know, I have a few questions for you. I'm aware. All right, cool. <laughs> so, throughout your life as an artist, in what ways has your career been affected and how has this changed your expression as an artist? Uh, I feel like I've gone through a couple different stages with my artistry. Like when I first started recording, I was just focused on like the hardest bars and the most witty lines. And then I ended up joining a group and we started making like actual structured songs with like, you know, verse, chorus, things like that. But like the subject matter didn't really like align with what I was that I was trying to do. So I ended up leaving and then um, kind of taking a break from music and learning how to like produce, learning how to like mix. And then once I kind of got comfortable with that, I got back into writing. 
and I'm recording myself, and then I dropped a couple of projects by myself. So I feel like I've gone through kind of like a metamorphosis uh -huh. over the last six years, I think. I started recording at 19, so I'm 25 now. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Doing big things. Trying to. I've been I've been <laughs> I've been listening to your projects, you know, mm -hmm. all the all the EPs you've been putting out. Yeah. So speaking of that, uh you released a powerful single called Alkaline. Yeah. Can you tell us about like what this song means to you? That song, like I said, um it's aligned with what, you know, the reason that I wanted to start making music. Like I wanted to like spread a positive message and try to like enlighten people and give people like hope and stuff like that. So I was, um, there was just like a lot going on in the world at the time. And I got kind of fed up. And when that happens, I just get like, sometimes I end up like in the zone and I just start, start like writing. And then, yeah, it all kind of just came together in a short period of time. And that was that. Off top. Yeah, we got to get it out. Yeah. One exactly. way or another, you know. Course. So, so what are some of the most difficult aspects of creating or producing your art? Do you feel like this can be liberating? In what way? The hardest part for me isn't necessarily the creating. I feel like that's the easy part for me. Mm -hmm. The hardest part is like performing. So like writing is easy. Making the beat is like easy. That's all therapeutic and liberating in itself. But once I record or if I'm like on the stage trying to convey the idea, that's mm. when it's the hardest for me. Because you want to do it in a way that is authentic and people like feel right here. Yeah. I don't want it to be like forced or anything like that. So that's the hardest part. And and how do you approach it when like in that in that situation? Like what do you do? I try to just calm myself down and kind of let let my spirit do the talking. Because if you get too caught up up here, yep. you know, anything could happen. But if you just relax and just like let it flow, things will usually work out the way they're supposed to. Right. Those moments where you like performing and you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, like exactly. you just in your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I've been there. We all have. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, in, in, in a more general sense, what, what does it mean for you to be an artist? And, and how do you identify with your art? Specifically, to me, I feel like being human is to be an artist. I feel like mm -hmm. everybody has like different gifts and talents and mediums they use to express, you know, how they feel. So I feel like just just being alive is to be an, is art, you know. That's deep. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta look at it. <laughs> yeah, life imitates art. Art imitates life. It's like cyclical. Yeah, for sure. So when you heard that you would be performing for. Uh, this show, Lady Sneak Live, <laughs> oh, with yeah. the theme, Young, Courageous, and Free. Like, what did you think? I thought just that, Young, Courageous, and Free. I was like, I got to come up with some stuff that's in line with that um, that theme, mm -hmm. you know? And that's, it wasn't too hard because that's like, that's like what I try to do. I try to be courageous. I'm young and, you know, everybody wants to be free. Absolutely, absolutely. So what are you wearing today? I'm wearing, uh, I actually just got this as a gift. My brother bought this for me for my birthday, um, hey. which just passed. Happy birthday. Thank you. I um, um, got a little okay. special Kobe Bryant joint, you know, okay. represent the goat. <laughs> okay. So, so what would you say your year, or your era was? So I was born in 96, the year that he was drafted. Okay. Yeah. And it's crazy. I actually share the birthday as... His daughter that passed with mm -hmm. him, May 1st. We were born on the same day, 10 years apart. <laughs> it was pretty nice. For but sure. growing up, um, I always loved basketball. Kobe was always, like, one of my favorite players. And I um, always wanted a Kobe Bryant jersey. So I was really juiced when my brother got this for me. That's what's up. Yeah, I was a diehard Kobe and, and Jordan fan growing yeah. up. I had posters and kites. I know that's oh, weird. Man. <laughs> I ain't seen a kite in a minute. <laughs> and, and my poster, it talked. It had like a little button on it. Yep. That's old school. I was like, I was that like sounds 97. futuristic though. <laughs> old school. I, I haven't seen that since. That's pretty crazy. Yep. Um I had a I had a signed picture of uh from Kobe. I actually got to see him play with the Kings like, oh, wow. back then. So yeah. yeah. 
That's what's up. So yeah. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this get up. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I'm definitely <laughs> ready to hear you spit your stuff, spit your fire. So um, you can take the stage when you're ready. Ooh, let's do it. Driven by purpose only, and I ain't perfect, homie. Sometimes I feel as if I'm worthless and the earth is lonely. Can't deal with birds or phonies, don't need no curses on me. Sometimes I feel as if the earth is really purgatory. I'm purging pieces of my mental space for cleaner slates. Practically praying every second to see better days. I'm on a mission to make it shake at a decent rate. And change the way that we thinking before I see the grave. Tell me why there's no solution for the destitution. And every year it's resolution, but not revolution. Matter of peril and institution, cause kids are shooting and evidence of brutalities deemed as inconclusive who do we trust when the lies lead the headlines and everybody's opinion is taken as a fact there's no nuance in conversation these damn times we playing mental gymnastics but we ain't acrobats it's bad enough that i'm battered and bruised black so i battle the bad business of image that be splattered on news outlets that boost the bias that baffles my truth i'm black and blue because you want me attached to a noose a back of submission but i'm tactfully gifted no tapping out or tap dancing i ain't master's assistant this passion is different I'm gradually lifting. I'm here to lift you out of business. They mapped you to slip in. RIP my fallen soldiers. I'm sad that you miss it. But we gon' keep it going for you. I'm happy you listening. Life is truly precious. It could be gone in an instant. Memories of yesterday end up lost in the distance. up everybody thank you for giving me this opportunity to perform i go by nehemiah james i'm an artist from richmond california and this is what makes me free look i'm still trying to get my bearings right on the grind kick push keep my bearings tight i overthinking sometimes think i'm scared of life how you gonna make it to the top if you're scared of heights one of many questions that i often ask i reflect to the point that i get lost in past friendships and unfortunate events life is limiting more often than sweet and that's the twist i'm staying focused tunnel vision with my head on the swivel i gotta get to the racks it's gonna be off the dribble from the rhymes that i scribble i'll go from dining with nickels to flying private and considered as a class above middle i'm only settling for shotgun i can't appreciate the win if i ain't lost some fly is icarus need a feature on high ones if you a real one then i'm not one i know some people who be living double lies for the clout i'd rather be like a window to show you what i'm about transparent at initial inspection but look at it at certain angles and see your reflection hmm. you can see yourself in me and i and you we both stumble over lies trying to find the truth we both looking for a love that'll make us whole we burn bridges just so we don't have to pay the toll and it's crazy because you still pay pain make you feel safe the devil find an angle in our lives and have a field day god make me feel safe i do this for lil saint mama raised an angel and for that i gotta feel safe i'm the spark pox spoke about Barely starting, but for enemies, it's over now. Keeping up with everybody, had me zoning out. But I'm back inside my zone, stone sober now. And I ain't holding back, standing like a peacock. Red zone, going beast mode. No Seahawks, running out of inspo. I had to go and restock. Father keeps stretching my hands until I reach top. Spots that I know you have planned for me. No plan B, plan A's the only plan for me. Man, I do this for my city and my family. I just hope you understand me. Again, I want to thank you all for giving me this beautiful opportunity. Shout out to Lady Sneak. Shout out to the UC Theater. I go by Nehemiah James. Wow, Nehemiah. Thank you so much for that wonderful performance, man. You always spit that fire. Thank you again. Now, as you all know, we are streaming on Comcast Channel 28. Uh, AT&T Channel 99, YouTube, and Facebook. So tell your friends and families where to find us. All right, so we're going to have a quick message from our partner, Center for Independent Living. Be back in a minute. Since 1972, the Center for Independent Living in Berkeley, California, has been advocating for people with disabilities and delivering key services in the community. 
Our programs provide people with disabilities skills, knowledge, and resources that empower. From learning the art of writing BART, to getting a first job out of college with workplace accommodations, to peer support groups and social clubs, we help youth and adults in Alameda County and the Bay Area to be their own normal every day. Want to learn more? Find us at thecil.org or call 510-841-4776. And we're back. This next artist was on this stage in March, and she came with such an inspiring message. This 15-year-old Chicana performer expresses herself through her poetry. Since performing here, her career has risen even more. Let's get her out here so she can tell us what's new. Welcome, Adriana Avalos. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How you been? Pretty good. How about you? I've been good. I've been good. How was your trip over here? Uh, pretty good, to be honest. Not too much traffic. <laughs> it was all right? Yeah. Cool. So you were here back in March for Known to Inspire. Um, what's new? Um, well, I performed with some folks in Michigan and a very well-known author on Tuesday. And I actually have a book coming out with some um, poets from Richmond and Rice Center. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, for sure. <laughs> That's what's up. So, um, so how many poems do you have featured in that in the book? Um, we're still kind of, you know, getting to the, you know, little details about it, but, you know, we're getting there, and I okay. have a few in there, so <laughs> I'm really excited. That's what's up. That That's exciting. So you're going to be published, a published author in a book, and that's dope. That's yeah. Dope. Okay. Cool. So, you know, I have a couple more questions for you. <laughs> um, so can you share your experience on what it means to be a performer? Um, okay. This one is hard because, I don't know, being a performer to me is like, it just feels so like liberating, you know what I mean? Like being in front of a crowd, like obviously before COVID, <laughs> but being able to kind of feel the crowd's energy or like just even on Zoom, like seeing people's faces like, oh my God, she said that? Like it's right. just, it's so nice to be able to see that, to be able to collaborate with other artists and to meet new people. You know, it's just, it's a really great experience and I'm so grateful to, you know, be a poet and a performer. Yeah, definitely. That's that's amazing. Yeah, just being able to just enjoy that energy and enjoy the, the atmosphere with other people is always, you know, a great experience for me as an artist, as a performer. Um, so I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> so what does creativity look like to you? Creativity is honestly anything where you're expressing yourself in any way. It could be like, you know, not necessarily like poetry or painting, whatever. Creativity is whatever you want it to be. Creativity is, I guess, a mindset. That's what I would say. It's a mindset. <laughs> Creativity is a mindset. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. So what are some of the most difficult aspects of performing? Do you find this to be liberating? How so? See, okay, I guess some difficult aspects are like not getting nervous while I'm performing, but like getting nervous like the day of and being like, oh my God, I'm performing. But then like when you're on the stage, it's like all of that goes away. And it's like, I don't know, I feel like it's just such a genuine experience to, you know, be able to be there and, and you know, saying your work, saying everything that you've, you believe in, like, you know, I... It doesn't matter how long you took on that piece or whatever it is about. Like, you know, it's how you feel when you're performing it, how you make the audience feel. You know, it's your work. Nobody else's. So, you know, I think that's just, it's amazing to be able to do that and share that. For sure. For sure. So why do you feel that art is such an important part of human expression and freedom? Art is activism. I've always said that every time somebody asks me, like, oh, like, you know, what do you, well, my art is activism. Poetry is just a platform to get it across. You know, mm. like, I feel mm. like. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> I sure. feel like, 
you know, whether it be painting or just rapping, singing, whatever you want it to be, that is activism. That is art. That is beautiful, you know? It's just you don't have to have a specific thing. You don't have to have a title in order in order, order for it to be, like, you know, a set in stone art. Like, you know, it's just whatever you want it to be, that, that's how it should be, you know? Definitely. <laughs> art is activism. I, that's going to stick with me for sure. So all of us artists and performers tonight have been showing up in our, our year, like our, our, our fashion, our year fashion, our era. So what are you wearing today? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say, brats over Barbie. <laughs> so <laughs> actually, actually, I'm a Barbie girl. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm, I'm, kidding, go. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I uh, I'm came, like, my era is, like, I was born in the 2000s, so I had to go for a 2000s look, but uh, Bratz style, so, you know. <laughs> okay, I, I, okay, I can feel that. Y'all can feel the Bratz, y'all can feel it, y'all can feel it. That's what's up. So you look, you look very nice. Thank and you. I appreciate you being here, and we definitely want to hear you speak your fire, your inspiration, your activism. So please take the stage when you're ready. Thank you so much. Hi everybody, my name is Adriana and today I'll be performing two poems. Um, this first one is called America. So let's get started. Make America great again, because America, the land of the free, home of the brave, where prisons still have slavery and history repeats itself, I think. Make America native again, or will that ruin your ego? Another genocide will be wrapped from the soil, the same one you used to bury women and children under after you raped them from their land, the same one you walked on after you called the indigenous people savages and stupid. You called them stupid because they didn't use violence. First act committed by you, even though they gave you a place you could go to for safety, helped you with anything you needed, yet you stripped, enslaved, murdered, raped, and forgot every life in America. You did not discover it, you ruined it. The screams, the screams you cause will never be forgotten because the land I was born on is Ohlone. Respect it. Slavery ended, give me a date because prisons still exist. Black Panthers are still ruled terrorists, yet the KKK still lives. It's in the name of our fucking country, or should I say catastrophe. You can say their names, but you will never feel their pain. You caused it. Chicana. Too Mexican for American soil and too American for Mexican land. I stand where the fuck I want because you stole this shit from me too. My rights have always been here because the brown berets still stand. The fire in me, the fire I hold, the power I present will melt all ice in your mixed drink. This recipe used for freedom. One part gasoline. One part bleach and the rest sage, cleanse your soul. Serve this drink to the oppressor and watch their blood boil. Their eyes sunk after they screamed out every life they took. We danced together hand in hand around the eyes that saw us as animals, rapists, illegal, wetbacks, beaner, spicks, aliens as we prayed. Every name that once had a soul to kindle with. Every name that once danced and sang, every name that once ate and prayed, every name that once walked this earth before you caused a genocide, enslavement, concentration camp, before you told my people, my children, a cage is now home. You were always blind. We are as doves in the wind. Our feathers not white for purity, but anger. We are angry and we are proud. We live in a world we have to teach our children to be afraid of our protector. Land of the locked up home of the coward. You didn't change your mind. You learned to simply tolerate us. But we accept. We are each other's accomplished to liberation, which you love to call illegal. Saying immigrants can no longer plead asylum. Saying ethnic studies is too biased. I had your perspective shoved down my throat since the day I stepped into the school that shows me my life might not happen because I don't look like you. 
instead of depriving our youth from the equal education we deserve, instead of showing us we have to fear cops and that there was a slight possibility you might not make it back after you walk out that door because you are unable to buy Skittles, to have a hammer, to breathe. Instead of planting the seeds of the tree, you call blue wall of silence, we call trees, and this is the season, spring, because we are blossoming anew. The pipeline you created to force us out of our future into a cell just because you fucking feel like it will burn to the ground. I speak to Mother Earth, to universe, to we won't stop till you stop killing us all. We are not statistics. We are not minorities. We are human beings. I give you libations finer than wine. The tongue of your ancestors, the body of nature, the lungs of pure, the lips of sugar, and the mind of open. Child born under the light of the strawberry moon, we are them. Our divine primogenitor, may all the lives lost never be forgotten. Manifesting for change, my love, it's happening. Thank you. This poem is called Protect Me. I live in between happiness and anger, advantage taking, love making, heartbreaking, caretaking, happiness. Our love only through a surface, think of it glass, ready to break, too much heat or pressure will cause it to shatter. That is our truth. You focused on my saying, studied my hurt, connected them both and we continued in vain. With you, my heart beats, butterflies in my tummy, not from excitement, but fear. What else will you take away from me? I still stayed, became your womb to return to, healed your cuts and scratches and scrapes and bumps, covered you in my resilient arms, and shielded you from the harsh reality that all you do is hurt me. I lived in agony, you lived in a rose garden. Thorns forgotten, you became those thorns. So not only did I take your bullets through my back, each paper cut eventually ended on my skin. My body a canvas, your words the art. Painting traces of my imperfect affection onto a blank slate. Prepare each piece with a divine silhouette. Your heart empty, but mind full. I took the fault for your implicit-minded actions, even after all the biased bullshit you gave me. I still tend to you and keep you blossoming, only for you to keep me hurting. I was your greenhouse protecting you from the thunderstorms above. Lightning struck and tore me down as you continued to grow. Like vines, you wrapped around my everlasting support for you, eventually ending us, left with nothing but living in between happiness and home all without you. Thank you. So thank you all so much for having me on this show. I am very grateful to be a part of it. Um, if you want to follow me, my Instagram is it's Audrey. It'll be on the screen. So <laughs> um, yeah, thank you so, so much. And then wow, what a spectacular performance by Adriana Avalos. Man, she really knows how to speak from the heart and enrich our souls. Thank you so much, Adriana. All right, for those of you that do not know, this show will be featuring our East Bay Rising featured artists. Now, in order for them to qualify as a featured artist, participants must be dedicated to bettering their craft, be on time to all courses, and show improvement every week. Featured artists will be included on our compilation EP, and they will receive a $1,000 stipend. With that being said, Let's bring up our featured artist. He's a multi-instrumentalist, and he wants to let people know that it's okay to feel what they feel through his music. This artist was also here in March, and he is now booked and busy. Let's give it up for Jadon. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? It's going good. Good to be back. Yeah, it's been a been a good little minute. You were here for Known to Inspire. How mm -hmm. have you been since then? Uh pretty good. Very productive actually. Yeah, what's new? Uh been booking gigs all around. I got got a lot going on now. Very okay. For that. That's what's up. Yeah. So tell us about one of the events that you uh been booked for. Um 
Uh, there's a venue called Bottom of the Hill in SF, and I've been trying to get a hold of them for a while, and I got a hold, so we're just figuring that out. Um, but I got a I got a gig June 5th, June 5th, Saturday, and I'm really excited about that. That's what's yeah. up. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So how does it feel to now be the East Bay Rising featured artist? Oh, my. It's like, like a lot of responsibility, but like not really. Just like a good amount. Very happy. Very much. Like ah, can't really put words to it. Exciting. Exciting, huh? So, what have you produced for the the EP? Um, it's called. Uh, can I say the name of it? Yeah. It's called "Don't Wait for Me." Don't wait. Oh, for actually, me. no. Wait for me. Sorry. Oh, oh, wait for me. <laughs> wait, wait for me. Wait for me. My bad. <laughs> it's all good, no worries. Okay, so that's what we have to look forward to, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, can't wait to hear it. It's like R and B, very nice. Okay, Jade on with some R and B. Got the smooth going. Okay, cool. So, so what does it mean to you, um, being an artist? Like, what is it? What does it mean to you to be an artist? What does it mean? What does it mean to be an artist? Um. Nothing really special. I think everybody's an artist. Um, just the guy that loves doing what I do. I feel like everybody has their own artistic features. I'm nothing special. I feel like compared to everyone else, we're all just we're all special. We're all special together. We're all special. All together. <laughs> <laughs> Love that movie. <laughs> Um, and how have you developed as an artist and, and what has changed the most for you? Is there anything in particular you wish would have stayed the same? Um, I wouldn't change anything, to be honest. I think it's been lovely how everything has been going so far. Um, what's developed? Um, new connections, new musicians, new people to relate to, um, I've had some good hookups. Got some new equipment as well. Okay. That's very nice. So okay. better for my producing. I'm learning so much from these experienced musicians. I have their help for whenever I need them. It's real like smooth sailing. That's good. I remember you talking about having like a very small like studio set up. So now yeah. you got some more equipment. Yeah. Okay. Or I'm like learning to like use the most out of it. Okay. Also set. But I got some stuff up my sleeve. Okay, so you coming with something fresh? Just wait. Okay. Just wait. Wait. What? What was the name of the song? Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, in 2020, you released a whole EP. Very true. On Spotify, titled Falsetto. Uh, what did that project mean to you? I really just wanted to get something out there. I dedicated so much to that just for a short period of time. I don't know, I just, I really felt like it. I just really, I feel like people didn't really take it seriously when I said I really wanted to pursue something that I love. So I really showed them what I do love. And it's just a lot of jazz chords. (laughs) Okay. Are we gonna hear some of that today? Yes, we are. Okay, cool. Um, So, you're wearing something that represents like your year, your era. What is that? Yes, um, this shark tooth necklace. It, the meaning of it like wasn't special. My brother-in-law gave it to me from Hawaii and he's like, here you go. But I wore this to every main event, every show I've ever been at, um, every gig I played. It's just like the biggest parts of my life. I've always worn this necklace and it's so close to breaking. But I'm gonna wear it all the way through. I'll fix it. And if it breaks, like I'll host a funeral for it. I love this thing so much. If it breaks, I'm sure you can reinforce it. We yeah. can we can find some 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 string, mm-hmm. put it mm-hmm. back together again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So Jadon, I'm super excited to hear you blow, sing your heart out on this stage, go falsetto, you know what I'm saying? Um, so please take the stage when you're ready. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jadon, 
And there's nothing more freeing about being young and in love. So this song, this song, um, this song is called Babe. Baby, save me when I'm next to you Will you still be there when I'm sad and blue? Will you be oh so loving, darling? Calm me down when I'm so alarming But I just want to make you smile If you need me, I will stay a while For you let me make it worth your while If I'm confused, just know I'm just 17 Baby, you're crazy for loving me so When I'm with you, I just let myself go Cause I just want to make you smile If you need me, I will stay a while For you let me make it worth your while Thank you. That's my first song. <laughs> this next song is called Falsetto. It's the third song I've ever written. I really hope you enjoy. Uh, feel free to sing along if you're at home.
Thank you. That was my second song of the night. <laughs> um, the next thing I'm gonna play for you, it's a snippet. I don't have a name yet, so just bear with me here. But I'd love to play it for you. I really hope you enjoy it. You enjoy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Growing restless, overthinking all the time. So I'm so sorry if I don't know the words to your song. I try my hardest to find, and I'd sing every note and sing along. Thank you. Uh, feel free to follow me on Spotify, Apple Music. Just search Jadon. Instagram, the King Jadon underscore. Uh, YouTube at Jadon's Music. Um, thank you, everybody here tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. Love you all. <laughs> thank you so much, Jadon, for that amazing performance. You are an incredible artist, and I can't wait to see where you go from here. We are going to have a quick message from our partner, Rise Youth Center. So we'll be back in a minute. When I'm inside the Rise, I just feel really safe and comfortable. There's a place where you can just come and like not have to deal with stuff that's happening out the street or like violence in the community. It's a happy environment. Everybody's nice to everybody. It's all love. Everybody here is positive. Everybody's so creative here. Being around that type of stuff, especially younger people that's creative, makes you want to be more creative. We get so many different people from so many different like walks of life and so many different experiences coming to one space. I wanted to rap, record music, and have my own CD and everything. Rise has actually made it a reality. I do film, so I always ask people for advice that do film here. You should come here to do something that you're not doing at home. Yeah, I started off really bad. And once I started coming to Rise, they helped me with school, they helped me with my career. Um, they gave me a place to be where I feel like I can belong. Everything here we take in a, re a restorative justice approach. They don't look at you for what you've done in the past or anything like that. Yeah, I became an intern, so that kind of changed the way I was in school. I started getting my grades up by going to just doing homework and making it in career plan. We have a youth organizing club where a whole bunch of youth from the center or from the community can come together and um, pitch campaigns on how they want to change whatever it is in the community. RISE's goal is to empower youth to make a change. I ultimately believe RISE is here to expand young people's minds and show them what else the world has to offer. People should come to RISE because there's something for everybody at RISE. I feel like there's a space for every single person in the community to be able to get something out of RISE. RISE has so many things it can teach you. It can give you so many different jewels. RISE definitely helped me realize that I could actually do something, that I could accomplish what I had in my mind. Uh, and we're back. <laughs> this next artist is the last artist, but definitely not least. We have a 20-year-old R&B singer-songwriter from the Bay. You might have seen her on Instagram or on a couple of TikTok duets. Oh, man, and that one with Tori Kelly, that was dope. Or maybe you've seen her on stage with Jeremy Passion. Welcome to the stage, Wanda Gonzalez. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I'm all right. So how was your trip over here? It was pretty good. I got a little bit nervous, but I'm, I'm good. You good. A little nerves never hurt <laughs> nobody. You good, though. So it's been a minute since you've been at the UC Theater. I think the last time you were here was like back in 2019 for Raise the Bay and Her Voice. Um, so what, what's been new? What, what's new since then? Well, right now I'm kind of just working like on my first EP, mostly just in the writing stage though, um, getting the melodies together, the structures of the songs. Um, recently I released uh, my second song, so I just have two songs out right now, but, but yeah, the good stuff is in the works. Okay, in the works, huh? Well, I can't <laughs> wait to hear what, what's, up, what's coming up next. Um, so as you know, I have a few questions for you. Um, so I'm gonna get into that. Of course. Uh, what does growth mean to you as an artist and, and how have you seen yourself grow thus far? I think being open to change because throughout the years, you know, I've been kind of sticking to what I'm used to or not trying to change, but opening up to different genres, different styles has really helped me uh, to grow and yeah. So being open to change. For sure. Okay. Um, do you feel that performing and putting yourself out there is a courageous thing to do? And, and what about it makes you feel, makes you feel courageous? Definitely. Uh, because, you know, courage means uh, doing something even if you're scared. So, you know, public speaking is a scary thing. You know, being in front of a lot of people is a scary thing. You, your nerves get to you. But yeah, definitely it's a courageous thing to get up there and give your all. And because uh, through music, you know, it's storytelling and it's personal stories a lot of times. So it's a very courageous thing to go out there and tell your life through music. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. So how does freedom play a role in your, in your form of expression? And how do you think your art plays into this? Well, I think freedom is really important. Being an independent artist, I have a lot of freedom when it comes to you know, the music. I know for a lot of artists, one of their goals or their dreams is to get signed, because you know, they'll have a huge support system. Uh, but I think it's actually a really great thing to be an independent artist, because you have so much liberty, so much freedom to do whatever you want, however you want with your music. You, know? you can, you can release it the way you want to, when you want to, and there's no one telling you how to dress, how to act, when to say this and that. So yeah, I think that's, that's a really good thing. Absolutely. Independent, that's the way to go. <laughs> um, cool, so tell us about your most recent single. As you know, I've been listening to, you, <laughs> to your Spotify and um, Tell Me Why. Uh, it's, it's super dope, it, sound, it sounds really good. Is there anything about the process of creating this song that was a challenge for you? Um, well, yeah, well, the song basically, I'll tell you a little bit about the song first. Um, so it's kind of like a breakup song, but then realizing you know, that you're so much better without that person because they were either not helping you uh, grow or ju just, you know, they were just dragging you down. Mm -hmm. So realizing that you're much better, you know, maybe they broke your heart, but you're much better without them in your life. But yeah, so when I first wrote this, usually with all my songs, I start with just like the guitar or the keys and a melody, and then I write onto that. So it's usually music first, then the lyrics, and then I put, put it all together, the structure. Um, but yeah, so there was this producer dude in, in LA. I saw him on Instagram. You know how when you could put little ads on your, on your posts and stuff? I saw him and I was like, whoa, he's really good. Like he was very soulful and he played all the instruments himself, the bass, everything. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna contact him and send him the song and see what happens. And so we worked together, you know, and that's how, <laughs> that's how it came to be, but yeah. Absolutely, that's, that's beautiful. So I seen um, your TikTok with Tori Kelly and we all heard that you, you've done something with, uh, was it Jeremy? It was uh, Jeremy. So Jeremy Passion, is he's actually from San Francisco, so he's from the Bay. Okay, okay. Um, Toy's from LA area, but 
so a couple years ago, I think it was 2016, 2017, I was 16, 17, um, I, I found them on YouTube. On YouTube. It was, it was, they were singing a cover of Broken Hearted by Brandy. I think you, you've heard of it. Um, of course. And I was, just, I was just blown away by their vocals. They were just out of this world. Like, I've never heard anyone so, like, so easily, like, uh, the runs. You know, they just sang everything so easily and effortlessly. And so I started to really get into R&B after that. I was like, whoa. Because usually before that, I would just sing with my mom at church. So we would do just uh, Chris Christian music in Spanish, right? And so I would write. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I, I really I really love, you know, gospel, my gospel music, my Christian music. But also, I just wanted to do something in English because that, I mean, I could, do, I could do Christian music in English too, but, you know, just something a little different because I was so yeah. used to that and it was just what I did all the time. But I, I, once I heard Jeremy and Tori sing, I was like, wow, I want to do that. I was yeah. like, I want to I wanna sing like them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love Tori. Yeah, She's so dope. they're really talented. So when I heard them, I started studying their runs because I was not able to do runs before. Like a couple years back, I couldn't do it. So I started studying their runs, like the way they sing. And anyway, I've looked up for them to them for years. And then in 2019, I posted a cover on Instagram uh, by uh, Jeremy Passion. And he ended up seeing it and ended up inviting me to sing that same song that I discovered them by at one of his concerts. So uh, it was just full circle. It was, it was a crazy moment. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> like, just from just a YouTube cover to actually being on stage with the artist, that is, that's beautiful. And I know you, you've probably gotten a lot of recognition from that. And just, I know you're moving even, even further now. So... Man, big ups to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So I'm super excited um, to hear you perform and do your thing and play your guitar, you know. Um, so please take the stage when you're ready. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. My name is Wanda Gonzalez, and this is my song, Special Thing. Some tap away, something so brand new, baby. Can't you see now that you're in my life? You changed everything in every moment I'm out with you. Be feeling like years in the miss you. From the way you talk to the way you move, baby, I'm falling in love with everything you do. Cause you got it, baby. You got that special thing, baby. You got it. You got that special thing, baby. Every time I look into your eyes, I just think about the fact that you're really all mine, baby. Can't you see? You're my first love, and you make me so happy. You're the cup to my cake, cause baby, you're so sweet. The peanut to my butter, as smooth as can be. Oh, baby, you're the honey, the honey to my bee. Cause my world without you can never be complete. Uh, ba, 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 ba. It can never be complete. Oh.
that was a special thing. Uh, before I share the next song, I just wanted to share a, a little spoken word slash poem thing. And it, it was kind of last minute, so I'm sorry, I'm going to read it off of my phone. Basically, I was just thinking about, you know, all the negativity that people have been trying to uh, throw at me, telling me that I'm not good enough, that I'm never going to be uh, an established singer because I don't have a certain look, because I don't have a certain sound, because I am who I am. But, you know, uh, that just kind of pushed me to write this, this, uh, this, little, this little poem. So it's called Influential. Hope you enjoy. No, don't underestimate me because you don't see my potential. Because I see me and know that one day I'll be influential. You always try to bring me down with all your negativity, but this time I've decided I'm not letting all that get to me. See, these are voices from so-called friends and even my own family telling me, girl, you should just give up. This won't be your reality. They said, you've got some talent, but you sure as hell don't look the part. Look the part. Man, did I take that to heart. The thing is, I started to believe them. I started thinking about my dreams and saying that I won't achieve them. But then I realized that even if I were to change, the voices will still be there, maybe with meaner things to say. Because trying to please them will just leave us with an empty void. Because these are the voices that we want to avoid. So all we have to remember is, we all have a whole lot of potential to one day rise above the voices and say, I am influential. So this is very much connected to the next song that I will be sharing. Um, sometimes in life we want to achieve certain things and you know, there's always gonna be hate, there's always gonna be haters, there's always gonna be negativity, but it depends on us if we let it get to us or not. It's important for all, for all of us to remember that we're all phenomenal. So my next song is called Phenomenal. Strength to climb 
Cause you hear a voice telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you you aren't enough. What it do, what it do, what it do, these times just seem so rough. It's telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you to just give up. But I know you gotta know, baby, you're phenomenal. Just in case you didn't know, no matter what you have been told, yeah. oh, baby, you're phenomenal, phenomenal. But but you hear. Telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you, you aren't enough. What to do, what to do, what to do, these times just seem so rough. Telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you to just give up. But I know, you gotta know, baby, you're phenomenal. Just in case you did. That was phenomenal. Um, so you can't find these songs anywhere yet because I'm working on them actually for my first EP, which, will, which is in the works. Um, but if you would like to follow my musical journey, you can find me on Instagram at Wanda F. Gonzalez and on streaming platforms as Wanda Gonzalez. I have two songs out, so if you want to go check them out, much appreciated. Thank you so much. Yo. <laughs> okay, look. Yeah. All right, everyone, that's our show. Thank you so much for tuning in and supporting these young artists and myself, of course. I just want to say thank you to our entire production team for making this happen. If you or someone you know is an artist of any form, go for it. Use your art to be free. All you need is a little courage. You can be forever young through your art. Good night, everyone. We all out here, we stay getting this green. Out here with real jobs, careers and whatnot. Been passed under the table, busting bears from them knots. Had to try to get my life right, wasn't ready for nothing. Them fools ain't loyal, I give love beyond the soil. Soon as something get right, I'm on that first thing pushing. You know I got the good, you looking forward till I prove it. Hope it's soon this before I be too big. Life is too short, so you better move quick. Just me, lady snakes. I like to wear sneaks. My eyebrows don't blink, you should see my physique. I'm so big, I'm so pretty. I'm a boss and I